Okay, we're just getting set up here. This is a new stream, so we're just getting it set up. We'll get started here in just a minute. If you just happen to tune in, we are just spinning it up. Salasta, Crown of the Magister. <clears throat> Excuse me. How you doing, Bushwicky Gaming? Yeah, I'm going to get this new game started up here. Um, let's see. Can you hear my audio out there okay, Bushwicky? I'm just trying to fix this. All right, nice. I'm just trying to get this uh, screen set up here where it makes sense. So that everything can be seen. I think I am going to just try it like that. We're going to be doing some character creation here. Uh, let's narrow this down just a little. And see what that looks like. I think that's okay. Okay. Adventure sounds in here. start from scratch. So hopefully it's not too boring. Get started here. Yeah, no problem, Bushwicky. Thanks. Oh, uh, game volume is drowning your volume out? Okay. Let me, uh, let me turn down some more. Is that better? Is that better now? I just turned it down. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that music's awful loud. All right. Hopefully that's not too loud. The characters do talking, talking stuff during the game, so we'll see how that goes. All right. This is a beautiful game. Um, it's obviously, it's a new company, um, they did a Kickstarter, did this game, um, I think they did a great job with the limited budget they had, um, you know, the characters and stuff, you know, you can't, you can't base it and, and compare it to, to Baldur's Gate 3, obviously, uh, they have a way bigger budget, <laughs> but this game is literally pure, uh, D&D, 5e, um, turn-based the whole nine yards it's it's even more so than uh, Baldur's Gate 3 um, using the 5e uh, open license rules so it should be pretty cool um, yeah all right well we're gonna get started here um, I've done a little bit of play into it but not very far but I was using the just to test it I was using the um, the uh, pre-gen characters and um, you know, just to kind of get an idea of how to play it. Uh, it's pretty simple to play. So I'm going to start literally from scratch. So like I said, this first part might be a little boring, but we're going to roll some characters. And um, we'll see how it all shows up on the screen. I think it looks pretty good right now. I'm just kind of looking at it. Um, yeah, cool. So characters. They have some pre-gen characters already in there. Um, first level characters. Um, they have basic character classes and so forth. Like I said, the game's just in its early release, or basically early release. Um, they're still working on a lot of it. Um, it is not multiplayer. They did not do this on this version of the game. Future versions of the game might be multiplayer. That's actually obviously more expensive and programming and stuff like that. So basically you play all the characters. So I'm going to create a new character. We're going to go from scratch. And the music turns off, so that's actually better. Um, there's a little bit of background. And they actually have a tutorial that walks you through 
um, all of it. Um, a lot of it is explaining, you know, 5e to people that don't really know. But um, so let's start off with. Uh, let's see here. So they start you off with ancestry first. So there's two different lineages of Hildorf. So apparently there's Hildorf. Let's see, and also Snow Dwarf. That's interesting. Um, High Elves have uh, High Elf, or Elves have High Elf and Sylvan Elf. We got Halflings who have Marsh Halfling and Island Halfling. Interesting. This part I haven't seen before because I didn't do the, uh, like, the uh, generation of the characters. So, what do you guys think? Anybody who's watching, what do you think? What, what we should go for first? Let's, let's get our fighter squared away first. What do you think? Um, I mean, dwarves are always good for fighters. Um, what do you guys think? Throw out something on the chat. Sylvan Elf? Yeah. The Sylvan Elf's cool. Um, I'm thinking the Sylvan Elf, though. I think I'm going to do the Elf as the, uh, the magic user. Definitely need a cleric, magic user, the, you know, the standard stuff. But I think I'm going to go... Let's go... Snow Dwarf sounds interesting, but... They said they're good for higher strain and low temperatures, blocky, agile, and sturdy. They're fierce warriors. Uh, Hill Dwarf. Alright, I think I'm going to go Hill Dwarf. Hill Dwarf for the first uh, the first character, and I'm gonna pick him for. See, obviously they, they walk you through everything. Um, so we're gonna go fighter. These are the only classes that that the game has right now: cleric, fighter, paladin, ranger, rogue, wizard. So I'm just gonna go standard fighter on him. Um, it comes with equipment already set. Um, Certain abilities and so forth. Um, I think this uh, long sword, light crossbow, shield, crossbow bolt. I think that's good. I mean, I think that's they give you some suggestions. I think that's a good way to start. We'll just go with that. Things will change as we go. So we pick a background. So see, it does five E, just like I said. So we're gonna pick a background um, and alignment. All oh, please do. So, uh, all right. So let's go for, uh, let's go, let's make him a sellsword. Okay, we'll pick that. That sounds good. Oh, okay. Uh, ooh, okay. Let's pick, because uh, this is going to be, they actually do alignment in here. This is interesting. Um, I'm thinking we go... Wow, okay. Let's go, uh, let's make him neutral good. Personality flags, well, that's pragmatism. And let's go caution. Okay, what else do I need to do here? Choose two. All right. Huh. I already picked two. Why is it not letting me go any farther? Oh, we have to pick. Oh, okay. Hang on. So we have to pick them off of here. Authority. Oh, personality flags. Authority and violence. There you go. This guy's going to be interesting. Okay, ability scores. All right, we're going to do ability scores next for this guy. Let's see what we got. <sighs> Basically, that's telling me stuff that I already know about 5e, so I'm not going to walk through that on the chat so we can get through it. 
These are my available scores. I think those are pretty darn good scores. I don't think I need to re-roll the dice on that. <laughs> yeah. Don't dump con? Yeah. Because we definitely need, you know, strength for this guy. Uh, we need a 15 in con for sure. Um, we'll give him a 15 dex. 13 intelligence. 12 wisdom. 12 charisma. That looks pretty darn good. Not too bad. Yeah, we put all the important score. Oh, see, so it automatically gave him a 17 con, a 16 strength with his ability or his uh, ancestry stuff. So that's pretty darn good for the fighter. Uh, that's pretty darn good. Taking the scores they gave us. Okay, fighting style. Oh, it gets pretty intense in the character creation. I like that. <clears throat> all right, we're going to go. Ooh. I'm not going to go two weapon fighting. Um. Okay, I think I'm gonna go dueling because he's not gonna be dual wielding. Dual, dual wielding. He's not gonna be two weapon fighting. Uh, hmm. He could potentially be wielding a shield. That could be good. I don't know. I think I like the uh, plus two bonus to damage rolls with that weapon. I kind of like that. Yeah, he's not going to be two-handed. Disadvantage on attack roll, no. No. I think dueling. I'm going to give him dueling. Alright. Proficiencies. Alright. Okay, we're going to do some proficiencies here. I can auto let the computer make choices, or I can pick them. Those class skills. So, I'm thinking we're going to let the computer pick just to see what happens. It'll probably let me change it if I want. Really? Religion and survival. Uh, yeah, no, I think I'm going to change those. Um, survival's probably okay. And let's do... Survival and maybe acrobatics. That would be good. I'm gonna pick his language. Auto on the language. And of course, Dwarvish is background language is halfling, Dwarvish, and common. That's fine. Okay, so we're good on that guy. We're gonna just jam through this here. Okay, now we're gonna. <laughs> wow, they even go into like I said. Yeah, you you probably could get you probably uh, Angel Beatslin. Yeah, you could probably get a second fighting style later. I'm not sure about that, but um, it's possible. I'm sure that's a possibility in there. Um, let's go. Let's give this guy. Oh, he looks pretty cool the way he looks. Really, <laughs> I kind of like it. Um, face. Uh, kind of like the first face. Skin tone looks okay. Oh, his first name. We need a name. I've got... Let's see. Um, let's see. What would be a good name for this guy? Dwarvish name. Somebody give me a name. <laughs> yeah, it does. It kind of looks like Hagrid. You want to call him Hagrid? <laughs> uh... What do we call him? First name. Let's see. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of a good dwarf name. That's not like just every other dwarf name. Uh, let's call him. Um, oh, we could call him Hagar. Yeah, he's just known as Hagar. 
Yeah, I know. I'm bad with names too. Let's call him Hagar. That's cool. And Clan. Oh, wait. It actually can create a random name. Oh, wait, hang on. Not Bjorn. Jovelin? Eric? No. Foffy? <laughs> Foffy. <laughs> uh, Foffy's funny. Alright. Bjorn. Snork. Yeah, how about Zork? And we're gonna pick his clan. Tall Barrel Clan. Snork of the Tall Barrel Clan. I like that. Wow, we can even change his hair color. We can make him blonde. Oh, sweet! Alright. Ooh, I like the red hair. He can even have purple hair if he wants. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Green hair? No. Orange? No. Blue? No. White? I kind of like the red hair. Yeah, let's give him white hair right here. Skin tones, we're not going to mess with that. I got different beard styles though. Oh, hair. Wait. No. Oh, man, that's cool. That's kind of cool. I'm going to give him that. Yeah. There we go. Okay, now we get to pick a voice. You didn't get me. Huh. We have a hidden door. That's interesting. I don't believe it. No, definitely not that place. I win again. Wait till the next one. No. I owe you one. Uh, Shit. <laughs> Easy. Okay, that's a good one. Oh, wow. Backstory? Really? Um, I'm not going to put that in right now. <laughs> I can put that in later. I can't even, you know, I can't think. We want to get through these characters, so. All right. That guy's pretty cool. I'm going to finish him up. All right. We got Zork Tallbarrow. Let's get our next guy. We're going to jam through it here. All right. So let's do the Sylvan Elf. Yeah, Sylvan Elf. We're going to do that. I'm going to pick that. This is going to be a female. And we're going to do the uh, wizard. Oh, wow. She looks cool already. Standard stuff in her equipment. Okay. What are we thinking now? What do you think, Angel Beatsland, for the for the magic user, the Sylvan Elf magic user. Let's see, what a uh, background. Ooh, what do you think? Definitely academic, good, good choice. Okay, so we have to pick two personality flags. Oh, wow, what do you think on that? Pragmatism, maybe? Value practicality over principles? really think lawfulness. I, I couldn't see that. I think, you know, I'm thinking uh, pragmatism and egotism. That's kind of cool. And then person personality flags. Okay. That was choose two there. We choose two here. Cynicism. I don't know, I'm kind of making her like, uh, she's just looking out for herself. She's going to be chaotic good, I like that. Uh, she's probably more like, if she's got these personality flags, she's probably more, I wouldn't say chaotic neutral. Uh, maybe chaotic good. Yeah, maybe chaotic good. What do you think? I think that's good. All right. Here's the dice rolls. Woo. Wow. Okay. So, dex, con, and intelligence. I'm thinking, yeah. That's what I was thinking too, chaotic neutral or chaotic good. I picked chaotic good. I think that'd be good. Yeah, I know those rolls suck, huh? We should probably re-roll them. I'm going to re-roll. 
Okay, I like that better. Even though there's a couple of eights in there, I like that 17 a lot. And since she's a wizard, we're going 17 intelligence. That gives her, yeah. And we're going to give her... Dex, con, she doesn't need a strength really, I'm thinking 13 wisdom, there we go, oh wow, gives her a 17 dex, 14 con, 17, 14, yeah, that's fine. That'll be good. All right, class skills. Uh, definitely Arcana. Oh, not let me pick. Oh, she's already got Arcana. What am I thinking? Okay, so she's gonna pick. Uh, I'm thinking. Yeah, low starts aren't too bad, yeah. On those, yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. Um, history would be good. And medicine doesn't matter. I'm thinking investigation. Yeah. Languages, uh, wow, okay. Ooh, she's already got common dwarves, elvish, halfling. I'm thinking goblin would definitely be good. Well, I don't know what that is. It's probably something in the game. That could be handy because that's in the game. So that's good. All right, next. All right, class cantrips. All right, this is always good. Definitely firebolt. That's a good one. Um, firebolt, ray of frost. Um, to start with, and ooh, light, they might need that. Spells, okay, definitely magic missile, always magic missile. What was that history with high aim? It said spy codebook, so it's probably good. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay, spe uh, spells. Obviously, like I said, magic missile. Um, what was the other one? Oh, magic missile so far. Oh, wow, what do you think? I'm thinking uh, she's got to have a little mix of uh, protection and damage. So, magic missile, obviously. Um, I'm thinking uh, burning hands. Yeah, definitely mage armor. I'll get that. Um... She's still got three more. Wow, okay. Uh, I'm thinking did tech magic. She needs some utility spells. And she's already got mage armor. Feather fall could be good. I'm thinking... Um, Go sleep and identify. Okay, now we need to look how she looks here. She needs to be not very happy. Yeah, Fog Cloud might have been a good one. I thought about that. I'm thinking... I don't know if I like the point, more pointy ears or... I think I like that. Yeah, 
identifies good. I, and I don't know how that's going to be used in the game, but I'm pretty sure that would probably come in handy. I, you know, I'm not that far into the game, but yeah, that, that could be good. Um, I like the skin tone and stuff on her on that. That looks good. And let's see, hair shape. Ooh, what do you think? That looks kind of cool, huh? I don't know about that. That's cool. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like that. I kind of like that hair shape. Yeah. No. Uh, no. Maybe. Uh, green hair? Purple hair. Give her purple hair. No. She's Sylvan. Let's give her green. Blue eyes. Or no, green eyes. Yeah. Uh, that looks good. Oh, physique. Oh, we didn't even pick the. I don't think we even did that on the dwarf. Ooh, it's like bulking her out. Look at that. That's crazy. I think she's good like that. Okay, voice. Here we go. Most impressive. No. Most impressive. No. Interesting. A secret door. I don't like any of those voices, but... <laughs> Next time. Only the last blow matters. Your comrades will save you. I am in your debt, my friend. You're still in the fight, my friend. That's better. I like that voice. All right. I think we're done with her. What am I missing? Well, let me finish. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, name. Let's go random name. Kiana. I kind of like that. I like Kiana. Kiana Whiteleaf. Strong wind, sturdy branch, fair eagle. That's uh, Kiana Whiteleaf. Yeah, I like that. Finish. Okay, we got our wizard. <laughs> so we've got a fighter and a wizard so far. Fighter and wizard, we're gonna go. Um, we need a cleric. I think we should go straight out human cleric. Yep. And I am gonna make the cleric female also. Subclass. What do you think? Oh, I don't want to make her. A... Ah, battle cleric might be good. <laughs> battle cleric might be good. Oblivion. Ooh, that's darker. Um, life cleric. Law. Elemental fire, elemental ice, elemental lightning, sun. Huh. How about. She'll be the antithesis to the wizard. I'm thinking. Sun. That could be good. Okay. She's got a light crossbow, mace. Okay, I like the idea that they have ranged weapons too. Alright, cleric. 
Um, deity, cleric and paladins have chosen one of the Celestia's deeds when created. The cleric, okay. The selected divine domain grants automatically prepared spells. Okay. So sun, you get specific. Why is it not telling us who's who? Oh. Patron of Adventures Hermits. Oh, wow. Okay, that's not. No. No. Okay, this one specifically and goes to Sun Domain, Arun. Alright. Cool. Okay, for the cleric. Uh, definitely Acolyte. Yes, Acolyte. What was that? Life? Life, but protect them well? Acolyte. Okay, so she's a son. Oh, okay. So she's going to be kind of more lawful. Altruism. She is going to be. I'm not going to make her lawful good. She's going to be neutral good. She's going to have kindness. And. Eh, let's make her lawful good. What the heck? Kindness. She's going to be the antithesis to the. Uh, wizard oh those those stats oh man I don't know about that of course we can put the 16 in wisdom um, wow I do not really like the low score on there yeah, definitely. We definitely, I don't like the five either. It's a reroll. Oh, that's better. I'll take a six if I can get an eighteen. Eighteen goes in wisdom. Thirteen strength. Twelve con. Twelve dex. Six charisma, ten intelligence. God, she gets a mu puts her at a seven charisma. That's all right. Got okay, nineteen wisdom. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. We'll see. You gotta always have a downside, you know, when you play. People always try to get the best stats or try to take even stats, but it's always good to have a stat that you got to deal with, you know, something that's not so good. That makes it a little bit more challenging. It makes it more realistic, you know, when you're playing D&D. &D. Okay, class skills. All right. Well, obviously, we want uh, medicine, and we want, well, you're only, she doesn't get a lot of choices, so history and medicine. She gets... Uh, languages, an extra language. She already knows common, giant, goblin, orcish. Wow. Okay. I'm thinking... Uh, I don't know. That old Terran keeps popping up, I think. Uh, well, no. Terran. Alright, that's cool. Okay, spells to start. Wow. Oh, clan this is cantrips, not spells. Okay. Uh, I think the best, obviously, is Spare the Dying and uh, Sacred Flame. <laughs> oh, we get one more. Um, we already have something as light. Guidance is increase the uh, allies' ability checks. Eh. Ah, uh, resistance, definitely. <laughs> yeah, they're not they're not the good wayfinder rules. You're right. <laughs> yeah, 
We don't get to reroll once. I'm, I'm a little bit more lenient on that. See, I let people reroll once when we're playing. Um, and if you roll another one, you get to reroll it. So, that, you know, I'm a little bit more lenient on that. Okay, cantrips, we got all those. Let's do, oh, that's all she gets right now. Okay, that's it. Okay, name, definitely not Jody, not Natalie. Alyssa, I like Alyssa. Alyssa Hawk, Marlon, Berg, John, Warner. How about Alyssa Marlon? Yes, I like that. And I like that. No. I like the hair. I like that hair. Ooh, that's cool. Yes, definitely. Definitely. I'm leaving the hair color as is. Eye color. Green eyes. All right, voice. I'm in your debt, my friend. With all your might. You'll need to do better than that. Boy, they don't give me More a lot of caution voice next time. Shake it off. All right. That's good. Okay, we have our. We have now our fighter. We have our cleric. We have our. Uh, let's see. We have our fighter. Our cleric. And our wizard. Fighter, cleric, and wizard. Okay, we need our thief. And we're, then we'll be able to get started here. I'm say. What do you? Th I'm. Th I say go half lane for thief. Definitely. <laughs> yes. And I'm thinking... Ooh. I like the idea of an island halfling. I don't even know what that means in the game, but we're going to do that. We can get this last character done. We're going rogue. I already like him. I already like him. Yep. And he's going to come from the, let's see, low life, he's going to be greed and caution. traits, huh? Really? I don't know about that. Why is it giving him... Oh, because it's unlawful good. Okay, he's definitely not going to be lawful good. He is going to be chaotic neutral. And he's going to be cynicism and egoism. He's been in the streets. And yeah. Coastal Halfling, Pirates and Smugglers, yeah, exactly. Angel Pizza. Ooh, those are crappy scores. What do you think of those? <laughs> wow. Woo. That's horrible. Hey, we're we're gonna definitely um, re-roll those. We're gonna definitely re-roll those. Oh, much better. What do you think of that? That was good. Those are good. 
Gee, I wonder where I'm putting the 17. I'm going to give him a higher intelligence. I'm going to give him a little bit better strength. Yeah, 13 charisma, definitely. It gives him a plus one from his ancestry. All right, we go next to class skills. He gets four extra class skills. Uh, definitely, <laughs> yeah, smooth talk, yeah, absolutely. Ooh, okay. He doesn't really need, he needs definitely acrobatics. Wait. Oh, no, those are already automatically one. Okay. He gets to choose. Wait. Wait a minute. Why is it? Oh, let me pick. Choose four skills from acrobatics. Huh. Why is it? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Acrobatics. Uh. Investigation, athletics, perception, definitely. Class expertise. Ooh. Two trained skills or thieves tools. Okay. Oh. I'm taking thieves tools. Not worrying about the trained skills. Oh, he gets one more class expertise. Oh, okay, so Thieves Tools and... Oh, Expert in Double Proficiency, okay. All right, so how about... Stealth. Heck yeah, he's got a plus eight on his stealth. Okay, languages, he gets to pick one language. Um, wow, how about, I'm going to give him work. Okay. I like that. Okay. I don't know. I'm thinking that. He doesn't need a beard. No beard. But I am going to make his hair a different color. Brown. Color eye. All right, voice. Take that. Nope. No. Nope. Damn, a trap. That's a good one. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna do his uh, name here. Tombo. No. Green. No. Owen. Your ranger has a plus eleven to stealth. Wow, that's crazy. Andre, no, Tombo, Owen, Andre, Tombo, Owen. Really? I'm gonna go Andre. No, I'm gonna go Andre, not Tombo. Anton, there we go. Not Wedfoot. Oh, yeah, it said pirate, right? So white sail's good. Okay, what do we go to next? Not let me. 
Oh, another character's already using that name? Excuse me? Really? Owen. Owen White Cell. Finish. Alright. Okay, we have all of our characters. I think we're we're ready to go. That was four characters. That was Anton. Alyssa. Owen Whitesail. And Snork Tall Barrel. Alright, we're gonna launch a new game here. Let's pick our guys. We got Anton. We got Alyssa. We got Kiana Whiteleaf. And we got Zork. Wait. Anton. Select. Okay. And then we go Alyssa. Select. And then we got Zork. Select. And then we got Kiana. Select. Sweet! I think they look awesome! Your middle name's Owen? I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. My middle name is Russell. I sometimes they use that as my, uh, my, uh, like, uh, when I don't want people to know my real name, I call myself Russell. Because that could be a first name. All right, here we go. We're gonna start the campaign right now. Here we go. This should be exciting. It has a real cool backstory. We are launching right now. Get ready. Before the Cataclysm, there were no gods on Celasta. No humans, either. Then, the rift opened. Some say it was a magical accident, or the work of an evil god. No one knows for sure. The Cataclysm destroyed the old High Elf Empire. Manakalin, they called it. And twisted the land beyond recognition. Now, only the brave and the foolish go there. In search of ancient treasures. But something is happening deep in those badlands. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Cool, huh? All right, here we go. This beer tastes like donkey piss. Not that I'm complaining. Hope I'm not too late. Ran into a bit of trouble on the way here. Sit. Relax. Perhaps you'd enjoy a pint of this obnoxious It's egg. cool the way they put your characters yeah, into the... Job, get in line. Into the thing. Old Karen doesn't show up soon. I may go looking for him. Another round, barkeeper. Four of your finest flagons of donkey piss, please. Looks like you've been waiting here a while. Indeed. 
You mentioned something about it's, the sound's kind of weird. It goes in and out. Well, I was making my way here when three bandits leapt from the bushes with crossbows. They dragged me off to some decrepit prison and tossed me in a filthy cell that smelled of rat piss. Don't know what was holding the place up. Okay, so now it tells the backstory of each of the characters as they come in. You have to play them. Alright, escape the bandit's prison, new quest started. Okay, so basically, you can move around and see everything. It's very detailed. It This part looks really cool. You can see the detail. You can see, even see the little, uh, like the, the water on the floor flowing. It's pretty cool. Um, so basically, you got your journal over here that tells you, basically shows you what you've already done. Then you have the quest lock, and so basically the lock. This always tells you where to go next. So find a way out is what we have to do. All right. Now I'm gonna just kind of keep going past this stuff because it tells you how to do movement, that kind of thing. So uh, we're just gonna move. We're gonna see if there's anything around here I can see. And we're gonna come out here. Oh, before we do that, we're gonna go into cautious mode, and then that makes you more stealthy. I'm in this prison, and for some reason the door is open. So I'm looking around for a way to get out. Alright, we're gonna go this way. I don't think there was anything in this room there. I don't think so. You can get right down to the level of the person to we're gonna go back a little bit so we can see. That door doesn't open. Go this way. It's just tell me about my journal. Don't see anything here. This way, sneak in here. What do we got here? Alright, looks like a way through there. Don't see anything in here? Yep, obviously that's the way. Torches. I do not want my torch in my hand right now. Um, so I am going to put that back in my inventory because I don't want any light to be going on in case somebody sees me. Because I can see perfectly fine right now. Doesn't look like any ways out over here. This is all. Somebody talking. Hear him. Trying to get used to these controls. Somebody talking. Somebody talking. I told you. Anyway, another party came back yesterday. Uh, sure. No, actually, 
Yeah, it's kind of like a it's kind of like a tile grid style for movement, but you just you can click and it'll move wherever it says to go, and you can. Uh, so then you have all your stuff down here. You like you have your inventory uh, section here, and it shows you where. And it's pretty simple. That's what's nice about it. It is simple to run. You have all your stuff you have here, your wealth, all your stuff you have equipped. Um, your characters, information, proficiencies. So you can craft stuff during the game. So you find things and you can craft them, which is cool. And then the spells. It's all right there, handy. I'm going to crawl through here. Let's see, I already... Okay, so I've escaped, completed that objective, and now I have to find my way through here. Oh, there's a chest right there. And a way out. Okay, so... Obviously, I can climb up here. Let's see. Oh, okay. Climb up the rock. You can jump. It's basically what it's saying. You just have to be sure you can jump that distance. And it looks like it won't let me jump over there. So I have to find the other way across. So here, I'm going to jump. Seems like an awful far way to jump. No, nope. won't let me jump over there. Nope. Won't let me jump. Have to go here, climb up the rock. And I can interact with that thing. So I'm going to go here. Aha. I can go across here. Climb across to get over to the chest. The objective, get rid of the bandits. Okay. I am going to go through here. I can crawl through because I want to get to that chest. Get turned around here. All right. Chest. Cool. Potion of healing. Yeah, I can. Uh, I think um, what I'm thinking, because it seems like it was almost like leading me that way. I think I can. Yeah, I have to go uh, back through. Yeah, that's looks like. From what I'm seeing, that's pretty much the only way to go. Was cross there, to there. That was like almost too obvious. But this is just kind of a starting thing and then the voices are down here oh, okay let's see what happens here oh that's awesome <laughs> yeah I don't have the spell jump but it lets you jump quite a distance apparently that was hilarious. So the guys that were talking were down in there, and basically I just dumped the rocks on them. <laughs> now I can go down there. All right. Let's see what's in here. Ah, there's a chest. Apparently, that's where all my gear was at. 
She's got a candle in her hand. That's hilarious. Okay, I got arrows, rations, and money. Sweet. I got oil, crafting scroll of cure wounds, acid, herbalism kit, scroll of revivify. Ooh, nice. A lot of stuff. Sweet. Okay. So now I have to. I recovered my equipment. Now I have to escape the prison through the open door. And that's basically it. Okay. Nice. Okay. Well, that was her quest. Nice move, that trip with the wall. Glad you're no worse for wear. This council needs to get organized. They have no right to keep us waiting like this. Have another ale. It's not like you have anywhere better to be. I have a tale to tell as well. I too was attacked, but I put an end to my enemies with blood and pain. Let's hear it then. Don't be shy. All right. They lost initiative. Okay, round one. Like I said, I know a little bit about how the tactics work in the um, game, so let's see here. So, I get to go first. So, I am going to move here. And I am going to attack. Ah, yes, 18. And he's dead. Dead wolf. I'm gonna move right here. And then I'm gonna... I don't have any powers to you. Well, I could do second win, but I don't need second win, so... End my turn. And he missed me. Uh-oh. Second wolf. Fault weapon, attack with a spell. Okay. Got it. Now. Let's see. I could actually shove this one probably off that hill. I'm gonna do a shove. Oh. I can push him away or knock him prone. Push him away. <laughs> Knock the wolf off the thing. And I'm gonna end my turn. Ouch, he almost knocked me off the rock. Okay. Did he actually hit me? I think he actually hit me. Uh, yeah, he did. He did hit me. I'm gonna attack. You lose. And he's dead. It says I could use that to heal up, but I am not going to worry about that right now. Okay, now I have to... It says, cross the bridge, disengage, and push the rock. This is like a training thing, so... I'm going to swap, sway back a little bit. basically says you cannot kill this guy, so it, you have to avoid an opportunity attack and disengage. Okay. It says disengage. The, the thing you're supposed to do is disengage and push the rock. That's what the slime man do. So I'm going to disengage. I'm going to go to the rock. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes. And the wolf's head's on the wall. <laughs> what a bunch of namby pammies. You're lucky you weren't attacked by Sorax. Shut your gob or I'll shut it for you. The badlands are thick with them. Shape-shifting bastards. Never mind him. He's just another drunk scavenger. Aren't all drunks basically stupid? Sorax might be legend, but orcs are quite real, and not just in the Badlands. I stumbled across a secret settlement right here in the Principality. Bullshit. I traveled here from the east and left the main highway, hoping to save time by traversing the hills. The views were magnificent, but I should have kept my eye on the path, because it gave way beneath my feet, plunging me into Stygian darkness. Okay. Oh! That's going to leave a mark. Okay, lighting and light sources. Okay. Got it. Model move down here. Okay. I think we're. I think I'm supposed to light a torch. Okay, so I'm going to go to my inventory and I'm going to light a torch or put a torch in my hand. Or I have a candle. Never mind. I don't have a torch. All right? No, I have a candle in my hand. I guess. Oh, need a flaming item. Okay. Oh, I see. There we go. Got it. Light the two torches. It's done. Eliminate the totem. Ah. What a peculiar style of art. I failed on the check. Clearly the work of some savage hand. All right. I examined it. I don't know anything about it. And I'm supposed to explore further. Okay. chest. Ooh, sweet. Healing potion. There's a torch. Arrows and rations. And I don't really need arrows, but I'm taking everything. And since it's already lit in here, I am going to turn off my candle. Alright, let's see what's here. I don't see anything else around here. Yeah, I know. I know, no fall damage. Thank goodness. She's still got... Wait. Oh, yeah. Ooh, no, she's got three of eight hit points. Oh, crap. Um, yeah, I should probably take a healing potion. Let's see. I guess she did take damage from the fall. Yeah, I... I just now noticed that when you said that, when you said there wasn't fall damage, but I guess there was fall damage. Uh, let's see. How do I do it? Uh, oh, there we go. I'm drinking the potion. Alright, I healed up. Sweet. Ooh. Discretion is clearly the better part of valor in oh, this crap. instance. 
I gotta get over there. <sighs> okay, it says to activate cautious mode. Okay, which I need to do right now. Alright. And I don't have my torch going. So, let's see. I'm supposed to go see if I can sneak down here, apparently. Great. These guys. Okay. I'm going to have her come down here. And hopefully they don't see her. So far, so good. I'm going to hug the wall. Hoping that they don't see me over the lip. And I'm supposed to get up here. Sweet. Now I have to sneak back down. Hug the wall. Hug the wall. Wait. Yeah, I have to climb up right here. All right. That was everything in here. Go in here. Now it says sneak past the arcs and activate the. Okay. I have to cross the river, it says. that way. Um, mm. Ooh. Okay. Now where? I don't see anything. Oh, okay. Got it. Wait. Yeah. Alright, this way. Yeah. Do the rocks. Do the rocks, do the rocks. Mm. It's getting mm. exciting. What's gonna happen? Alright, I see. Mm. New waypoint added long rest safe area. Click to open the map. Apparently there's a long rest area. There. Oh, must be this way. Across the room. Right. Oh, wait, I see it. How do I get down there? Oh, okay. Oh, climb down. Got it. No other means of egress is apparent. Fine. Crap. I shall wait until they go. These creatures do hunt, right? Alright, so basically I have to wait until they leave, apparently. Oh, man, I didn't have to take that healing potion. It's a long rest area. HP, yeah, uh, I didn't have to. I wasted that healing potion. Oh well. Didn't know. Well, 
I don't really need to prepare spells because... Yeah, because I'm basically... Alright. Well, took my long rest, and we'll see if those dudes are gone. Apparently they're gone. Sweet, they're gone. Leave the cave. How do I leave the cave? Do I sleep the way I came, or... Uh, so... Yeah, I'm assuming. Wait, nope, this way. Yeah, got it. I'm not sure I would have slept so close to a horde of orcs. Orcs have a very distinctive stink. I'm beginning to think Lord Karen might be a mythical creature. We've all told a tale of our travels here. All but one of us. Yes, but I have a good reason for that. It's none of your bloody business. Come on now, don't be a killjoy. We all sang for our supper. Your turn. Fine. You want to know the truth? I stopped on the way here to visit an old friend of mine and discovered he was up to his eyeballs in debt with a lone shark. Oh, that's not good. Indeed. He put up a family heirloom as collateral and wanted me to reacquire it because, you see, I can be quite stealthy when necessary. Okay. Thief gets a shot now, huh? His backstory. Okay, recover the stolen gem, enter the fort. Oh, this ought to be fun. Right. Use cautious mode. Good idea. Oh, the prince. Human tracks, probably bandits. They look quite fresh, is what it says. Alright, more tracks. Spotting tracks. Oh, what's that? Uh, thieves tools. Like I really needed more thieves tools, but... Uh, Liam, always thoughtful. Oh, because apparently the guy is supposed to leave some thieves tools for me. So. Alright, here we go. More, more tracks. Alright, how do we get in? Oh, there it is. Ooh, there's a guard up on the thing. Apparently I'm stealthy. And I just figured out a way in. Alright. This is fun. Uh, I'm hoping I'm super stealthy, considering that guy's right up there on the wall. And now I have to pick a lock. Oh, uh, yes. A 22 with these tools. Sweet. And now I am in. Uh, basically, it wants me to try to pick pockets on somebody. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, it says basically find the treasure room. Let me check my journal real quick. Cautious room. Disarm any trap you find. Okay. All right. Let's see what I'm supposed to do. There's some dudes over there, so I'm gonna go around this way. There's some dudes right there. Bandit quartermaster. Okay. Something about picking the pocket. Well, maybe just find the treasure room. Well, I can't go in there. 
Although it's got a mark there as if I could go try to pickpocket that guy, but... Wow, I don't know. That's risky. I'm gonna try it. No. They, they'd have to be able to see me. Wait, that guy just walked away. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna try to pick this guy. Pocket. Yes! Nice! <laughs> Roll a 25. A stealth check. Picked his pocket. Got the key. Oh, wow, that was risky. I waited until that guy walked away. This dude here. He was looking that direction, and I came up behind this guy and pickpocketed him. Nice. Uh oh. More dudes. I just gotta go by. I just gotta go by. I don't see any other doors up here. This has gotta be the door. Yep. That's the door. Yes! Another 22 with these tools. Alright. So somewhere in here has got to be the way to the. It said climb. Climb to the treasure room, so it's gotta be uh, makes sense. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. I'm seeing a trap. I'm in. Oh, trap! 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 Disarm trap. Here we go. If I keep my high rolls going. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, that was I thought that was close, but I got it. I did get it. Door. That door didn't have to be picked. Okay, objective completed. Cover the stolen gem. Oh, wait, no, the objective. Okay, there's a trap on the thing, the chest. So, here we go. Let's see if I can keep my streak going. Ooh! Uh, good thing I have a high. Whew. I didn't think I got it. I rolled a 10, but I got a 17. So, look at these tools. There it is Liam's heirloom and some money. Ooh, gold pieces. Sweet. Ooh, it's like 13 gold pieces. All right. Now, I got to get out of this place. I got to escape now. All right, we're out of here. Let's get out of this place. Still stealthy. Uh-oh. There you are, you filthy crook. Uh -oh. You what? You're drunk. Get out of here before I kill you. Think you scare me? Not anymore. A grave mistake. Yeah, plus seven was insane. I couldn't believe that. Uh, okay. I have to try to save Liam because he got discovered. Oh, crap. Round one. Okay, now, I could... I have a ranged weapon, I think. Let me see. I do. I could shoot from here. I could shoot him. And then move. Because I can't move close enough to attack him. So I'm going to shoot first. So I am going to go to my short bow and then I'm going to attack that dude 20 oh critical hit oh. sweet yeah I must have got an attack bo seek attack bonus. are you four here to see Lord Karen because I killed the um, I killed him with a critical hit <laughs> so nice okay well that completed that quest real quick. 
Okay, so now he's asking questions. Select an answer. Um, we're here to get drunk. Who's asking? Maybe we're here looking for a fight. So I'm going to go, who's asking? That's Depends on who's asking. Well, if you're here for Lord Caron of the Legacy Council, that would be me. Anton says, so you're real then. But Zorak says we should get paid for waiting. I'm going to do Fine. That. I'd like to present you with a bill for the time we just spent cooling our heels. Feel free. The council's bursary enjoys a good laugh. Can uh, you tell us more about the job? Well, I suppose it's better if you know what you're doing. What do you want to know? Um, are you our employer? Are we going to work for you? Not exactly, no. I'll be your contact with the Legacy Council, which you will serve as deputies. That's why we need to go there and get you sworn in. Okay. Uh, what is the Legacy Council? That sounds like a We good. hear this is a mission for the Council, but what is it exactly? Dear Moraike, you don't know. I'll try to make it simple. But you know, politics? The Council includes representatives of the most powerful and influential organizations in the Eastern Kingdoms. It was created to lead a joint effort to explore the Badlands. Okay. What are the Badlands? What are the Badlands, really? Simply put, they are a monster-ridden, chaotic wasteland that used to be the Elven Empire called Manakalan. It was destroyed about a thousand years ago by the Great Cataclysm. Now. Only ruins remain, full of forgotten knowledge, riches, and dangers. Sounds good. And what are the Eastern Which Kingdoms? Which countries make up these Eastern Kingdoms? Simple. The Principality of Mazgarth, here, is in the middle. The Snow Alliance lies to the north. The Kingdom of Galavan to the I east, and the north. New Empire to the south. All friendly, more or less. But the peace is fragile. Okay. Uh, what organizations are what there? What are the organizations you mentioned? The council is, uh, how to put it, a non-governmental organization, meaning that state governments are not represented to avoid partisanship. Instead, there are delegates from the Guild of Antiquarians, the Tower of Knowledge, the Arcaneum, and the Circle of Denantar. And the Church of Einar guarantees fairness, led by Marshal Beric Sunblaze and Oathkeeper Lyra Keen. Okay. Uh, that's good enough. I think we know enough now. Thank you. Uh... What can you tell us about this place, the Principality? We don't exactly have the time, anyway. The Principality of Mazgarth is ruled by Princess Kaiwood Silverflower. We are a wealthy state with fertile lands and the easiest access to the Badlands through a pass called the Copperhead Road. We're in the capital, Caer Kiflin, which was once part of the ancient Manakalan Empire of the High Elves. Hence the magnificent Elvish buildings up there in the High Town. While we don't have a state religion, all of the major faiths on Solasta are represented here, though we tend to favor Einar, the god of valor and fidelity. Okay, fine. We should go, don't you think? Very well. Come, gather your things. You're late for your swearing in. Hurry up and wait. The story of my life. <laughs> all right. I guess we try to get sworn in here now. Loading. A little hint, some creatures are afraid of light and can even be hurt by it, allowing to use light as a weapon. Hmm, little hint there. Okay, here we go. New quest started. Uh, right now you have to find the Legacy Council. You've been there, you'll have access to fast travel. Go north and walk up the stairs to Sunblaze Court and take the stairs west to the Council. Okay. 
All right, we select everybody and everybody. Okay, we have to go to, according to the journal, meet Karen at the Legacy Council. Let's see if the map shows anything. No, not yet. It said to go north, which is... Uh-oh. Oh no. Let's see, we go. Let's see who this is. We'll talk after you're swearing in. Okay then. Let's get another perspective here. Okay. I think we're supposed to go this way. Yeah. said not to bother you yet. Eh, apparently we're just supposed to go to the council. No, I don't think that was the way to go. Uh, I don't see a way through there. No. Okay. I think we're supposed to go this way. legit. There needs to be these controls, so don't mind me. Where am I supposed to go here? I keep going the wrong way. Well, we're just exploring, you know. Right there. Never mind. The official D and D cookbook. Um, I don't think I have. Where did Where did you see that at? This place is magnificent. I think we're in the right place. I'm busy. Come back later. Oh, okay. Um, Legacy Council. Released yesterday? Oh. Oh, okay. Something on Amazon?
Nice gardens. That is obviously not the way. There we go. There he is right there. I never thought I'd get so close to the embassies. Look at the size of this council hall. So this is what they spend our taxes on. Look, is that the princess? Wait, is she leaving? Apparently so. Then who will administer the oath? Hmm. Eh, we're too low for A lady like her wants nothing to do with drudges like us. You thought it would be the princess? If she rules the whole principality, who's more important? Lady Keen, the council's oath keeper, is trusted by all. Lord Caron. Yes, my lady. Are these your new deputies? They are, my lady. My name is Lyra Keen, oath keeper of the council. Shh. Quiet, everyone. And I will be administering your vows. Once sworn in, you will carry the authority of the council wherever you go. Your every action will reflect upon the council's reputation. Oh, great. Remember that. Always. Now, please, raise your right hands. Do you, each and all, solemnly swear your lives and allegiance to this council and promise to carry forth our mission to protect our alliance from any who would threaten the common good. I swear. I swear. Excellent. Lord Caron will enter your name into the council's register. Thank you for your service. Congratulations, deputies. Wait. That's it? What were you expecting? A parade? No, I don't know. It just feels a bit... anticlimactic. Sorry to disappoint. So, the mission. As I'm sure you know, the Council maintains a number of outposts to secure the border between the Principality and the Marches. One of them is the former Imperial Fortress, KLM. It's held by some 50 troops under the command of Captain Henrik. He sends us weekly status reports, or rather, he used to. We haven't heard a word from him in three weeks. Leave immediately for KLM and find out if anyone there is still alive. If Captain Henrik or anyone else is still breathing, bring him back. The Council wants a first-hand report. Great. Uh, tell us about Captain Henrik. What can you tell us about this Captain Henrik? A fine officer more than 15 years in the Principality's army. He inspires trust, loyalty, and courage. Hence the decision to post him there, facing danger. And probably get killed. Wait, these marches, they're not in the Badlands, are they? The marches are a no-man's land between the civilized world and the Badlands. It's outside the chain of mountains that really define the Badlands. We wouldn't send you in there, yet. Yet, right. All right, we're good to right. go. Right, I guess that's that. It's on to KLM. Okay. So faction. We just upped our goodness with the factions. Okay, so now we're supposed to go to level up. Oh, we have enough experience to level up. You have to take a long rest. We head back to Gravekeeper's Cass or, and speak to Carol, the owner. He will tell us how to get a room while we're staying in the town. And we can use the fast track function on the map. So we're going to go like that. And we're going to go right back to the bar tavern. Whatever. And yeah. Okay, right there. And we are going to fast track it. All right, we're there. We're at the tavern. Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? 
<laughs> Your beer tastes bad. <laughs> Tell us about this place. We need a We'd robe. like to stay for the night. Sure. Just walk up to the suite. Wow. That, and that costs ten gold the pieces. Sweet. Oh, it's more like a large bedroom, really. But you know, this Jeez, is the Christmas. capital city. Ten gold pieces? This better be lush. Okay, we get to level up. Awesome. Thanks for the sub, Jaybird. Appreciate that. Two month sub. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, this is a new game. It's called Salasta. It's basically 5e e D D. Like even more so than Baldur's Gate. <laughs> but it's not quite as um, detailed as Baldur's Gate because these guys are fairly new and um, you know, they don't have it is it is not a multiplayer game, it's just a single player you play all four characters not like Baldur's Gate but we're going to do that too but um, yeah nice yeah so we're going to yeah. alright so we're going, we got to the point now, we ran through all the character background, little adventures, and um, yeah, I'll definitely let you know when we start BG3. Um, I don't know where I'm going to slot that in yet, <laughs> but I'm going to do it soon. But they're doing a lot of patches and updates on it, so um, it should be way better going into it, playing it the first time. I've been trying not to watch anything online, so I don't get any spoilers or anything on it. But yeah, definitely, I'll let you know. Cause we'll we'll get going on that. It takes up to four players, and that can be played uh, through Steam like a multi remote player thing. So should be pretty cool. Yeah, it's still early release. Um, yeah, the downside is is that the um, I have to repurchase the new game when it comes out. Oh yeah, I have to do Tabletop Simulator to Angel Beachland. Yeah, actually that I have that on deck too. I have a I have all that stuff plus those. Uh, party game things I was talking about, so I just got to figure out where I'm going to slot them all in, but definitely the tabletop games. I'm going to do some board games playing playing on there. Going to definitely do that. Alright, let's do a level up. Anton is leveling up. He's now a level 2 rogue. Gained 7 hit points. Nice. He's at 17. And that's all that had to happen on him, apparently. Wow, I like his decks. 21. How about that? I know, right? It's like I retired to become a streamer, right? No, Rick got me into it. It's Rick's fault because, especially when he was staying with us um, while he was, uh, we were getting ready to, we went up and got the kids and the family and everything here this last weekend, but he was staying with us up to that part, point in time and he's just been streaming and streaming and now he's got me just totally into it. I blame him. Okay, finish. All right. Melissa, level up. All right. 15. She gained six points. Wow, she has a 19 wisdom. That's awesome. Is that it? Uh, channel divinity. Did she get to take, pick spells? Oh, yeah, okay. So she gets to pick some spells. All right. She gets to pick. Oh, select six cells to prepare. Okay. It auto selected stuff, um, which I think is probably good. Bane, bless, cure wounds, healing word, inflict wounds, heal shield of faith. Hmm. Yeah. I think I like all of those. Yeah, that looks good to me. Right. Same prepare spells. All right, that's good. Level up. Nice. He got ten hit points. He's at twenty four. All right. He regains the main uh, accent shirt. So okay. Well, he already had that. So 
That was easy. Now the wizard. Six hit points. Ooh, grants you a specialization with a certain kind of magic. Arcane recovery, sweet. And ooh, what arcane tradition should I take? No, I don't think so. Uh, ooh, what any of those gonna be? Oh wow. So we could get knowledge off of her if we use some of this. I don't know. Wow, I don't know. I like the shock arcanist thing. But I'm going to go shock arcanist. Okay, she gets two class spells. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Um, ooh, all right. How about... I meant so far she didn't know what a totem was. Yeah. That's true. Ah, what do we think on spells? I'm thinking... I don't know. Say. New spells. New spells. How about... I'm going to take Thunder Wave and... Needs one attack and something to protect. How about shield? Okay. Because she thinks for herself mostly. So. All right. It says the next objective is to visit the magic shop. Um, which is interesting. And buy some food. Oh, we have to basically the the main thing is buy food. Buy food for the journey. Uh, uh, Gorham's Emporium on Market Street. So that's where we got to go next. Oh, Fog Cloud or Feather Fall. Yeah. That could come in hat. Truthfully, with all the rocks and high places we've seen, yeah, you're right. Feather Fall is probably a good choice. Let me see if I can get, figure out. Um, out here we have to go to the get some food before we go out on the adventure oh, who's this? unknown drunk that's funny all right let's just go down here I'm gonna go to the map and see if I can get right to the uh, market street that's Hugo Okay, Gorham Iron Shoots right down here. We can fast track down to Market Street. Boop. And we're there. I think this is the magic guy. Uh, but it said to get food is the main thing. So we're going to go here. Yeah, I know. All right. There we go. Welcome to Gorim's Emporium. Okay, we need rations. That's what we're looking for here. Rations. Uh, we need to pull up the money here. Ooh, we got a lot of gold. Okay. We should probably go ahead and get as many rations as we can get. We probably got some stuff we can sell too, but I could probably sell a set of thieves tools. That's 16 gold.
see if she has anything for sale. She doesn't use arrows because she's using a crossbow. Wait, somebody else has arrows though. Right? No? Actually, nobody else has arrows. Crossbow. Let's sell these arrows. Alright. Well, we got our food, and that was basically what we were supposed to do. All this other stuff's too expensive. We're not rich enough for this stuff yet. Yeah. You're getting some higher level spells soon, yep. Yeah, that's about all we can get from her right now, because we're low level nothings. Oh, we don't need more torches. We already had torches, right? Yeah, we have a crap ton of torches. These tools, candle, components, these tools. Scroll kit, herbalism kit. Yeah, we don't really leather armor. Nope, 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 nope. We already have weapons, we already have all that. Um, we don't need more crossbow bolts. Leather. Yeah, that's about it. Basically, that's what we were supposed to do, is just get that, which we completed the quest. Now we have to go to Care Lim. Leave the town and use the travel map. Okay, we gotta leave town. Let's see. How do we get out of town? figure out how to get out of town here. Yeah. yeah. All right. I guess we just head on out of town. Oh, how do I end up here? Travel interrupted. What happened? Deputies? A word, if you please. Oh, okay. So famous already. I love it. You were in there too. Are you a member of the council? I'm Annie Bagmorda, quartermaster of the Scavengers Guild. We don't have a seat in there, but they all know exploring the Badlands without us would be a bad idea. That's why you should stop by our headquarters downtown. You'll need our services, I'm sure. Is that compulsory? No. Really? But you'll find our services useful. Everyone does. Did Lord Karen not tell you? No. He pretty much stuck to giving orders. Oh, right. Anyway, we offer plenty of help and advice to beginners like you. We are grown-ups, you know. At least most of us are. Of course you are. Well, good luck. Okay. They're tough, these scavengers. Fearless. I'd rather visit the temple, honestly. The scavengers? They've seen so much already. The first explorers of the ancient empire. So what do you think? Should we check out their headquarters? It's not far, but... I've had enough talking. Let's go kill some monsters. If there's business to be done, we can't afford not to. Okay, we have to visit the scavengers' headquarters. Uh, where's the scavengers' headquarters? Where did it say it was? Uh... I can't remember where they said it was. Say journal. This just says the uh, quest log. Oh. Next to the gravekeeper's cask. But 
It says reach the outpost. So let's go back to the gravekeeper's cask. It's near that. Get out of this joint. Supposedly it's right. Oh, okay. Ah, you came. You picked our curiosity. So, what exactly do you have to offer? You don't know. What kind of help do you offer to people like us? Simple. Now, people like you typically carry out missions for the Council, in the marches, even in the Badlands. Sometimes far away, like Captain Merrin. Uh, who's Captain Merrin? <laughs> you really must be new. She's one of yours. Senior deputy of the council. Anyway, you trek out to some old ruin in the Badlands, kill a bunch of orcs. Well, you're still a bit green. So let's say goblins. Ouch! You're hurting our feelings. Orcs will hurt much more than your feelings, believe me. And stop interrupting, it's rude. So let's say you find yourself with a whole load of rusty swords, leather armor, shields too much for you to log back here. Oh! So we're puny as well as green. Thanks so much. So instead, you brave heroes just clear the place of monsters and draw us a nice clean map. Then we take our carts and pick up every piece of junk. We bring mm. it back, we sell it, and we split the profits with you. We move the stuff, you go off to kill more bad things. Everybody wins. For a percentage, of course. What? You could never carry a doll anyway. Not in your little backpacks. Do you sell healing potions? No, we don't. There's a shop for that. Well, thank you. I guess that's it for us. Fine. Feel free to visit us any time. Or drop into any scavenger camp. Are there others? Anywhere we can settle. By the way, if you find Captain Henrik, tell him we're still interested. In what? In getting our people to care Lem. The outpost is perfect for us. Close to the Badlands with plenty of space for our camp. Right. We'll tell him if we find him. That would be appreciated. The more you do for us, the more we do for you. Oh. So this business relationship can get better. And I hope it will, friend. I guess we'll see you around then. Sure. All right. Well, good luck out there. Pick up junk and, and don't forget money. in the Badlands. Sounds good. Always keep your eyes open. All right. Took care of that. All right, let's get out of Dodge. Gotta go do the outpost. Now we just gotta get out of this place. Get out of town. All right, let's do it. I'm thinking, let me look at the map again. Uh, okay, we're right there. Now we're just gonna go directly that way. We're gonna go this way. Let's see if we can get out of town this way, yeah. Probably. Um, maybe not. Oh, maybe. are on our way to Kerlem. We went Kerlem. Okay, it's telling us about travel pace. Things might happen as we go. So we're headed to this place right here. 
We don't want to go to the duchy right now. Oh, that's where we're at. Okay. We want to travel to Kerlim. Here we go. Now, things could happen as we travel. So, let's see what happens. We've got 16 units of food. We've got lots of food. Okay, we're going to go normal pace because I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to take two long rests. So, we are going to travel now. Okay, it's telling us on our journal, we didn't find any useful ingredients. We caught some hares, found th oh, which three food rations. Uh-oh, band of mercenaries, band attack. Um, <laughs> here we go, fighting bandits, first real fight. And I think we got surprised too. That's not good. Well, here we go. First fight. There we go. We got a good initiatives. One of us did not. <laughs> it was a surprise attack. We were camping and they attacked us. Some of us were surprised. All right. The bandits are moving. There's bandits from all around us. Looks like there's three bandits. No, four bandits. Hiding in the rocks. Hi with it. That's funny. Round two. Okay, we get to go. All right. So Anton is up first. He has he can attack many different people. Um, let's see. I am going to move him to maybe get advantage. Uh, let's see on this one, dude. Here. And he's going to attack. Oh, he's going to switch to his uh, attack with his sword. <laughs> nice. How Critical does that hit. Feel? Oh, oh, yeah. Backstab. <laughs> How'd you like that? Anton can complete his movement now. He is going to move. He's going to move because he's a thief and he can do ranged attacks. He's going to move back to he's gonna move here. Oh, he can take a bonus action. He can dash or disengage as a bonus action. Sweet. Yeah, another attack. He moves. No. He's gonna end his turn. Okay. Cleric is up. She is right here. Alyssa. Alright, she's going to move to this guy. Wait. Actually, she needs to help out the magic user. You know what? No, she's going to move here. And then she's going to. She has a spell to cast Shield of Faith or Healing Word. No, she's gonna attack. Maybe we can get a crit hit and get lucky. Oh, yes, I critical take hit. No prisoners. Critical hit. Didn't kill him, but and then she is going to just stay right there. 
She can cast a spell as a bonus action, though. So if she is, she's going to cast Shield of Faith. And she's going to cast it on Kiana, because she might get hit. There you go. Hit turn. Dwarf. Zork. He is going to attack this guy right here. Use power. No, he doesn't need to do a second wind. He's going to attack this guy. Ooh, hitting good. And he's going to end his turn. Miss. Bandit misses. Yeah. Oh. You're still in the fight, my friend. She got hit. That's not good. Let's, uh... Oh, magic user is up. Here's where the magic user shines. Are you ready for this? Okay. She is going to cast a spell. She is going to cast... Magic Missile. And she can pick up to four targets. She's going to pick this bandit who's almost dead. This bandit. This bandit. And where's the other one at? Or the other guy's already dead? Yeah, he's already dead. Uh, let's pick. Then it's full. That one's almost dead. Uh, I thought there was another bandit. That's it. There's only three. Okay. Here we go. A victory fit for a song. <laughs> I gotta love it. Enter. One guy has still got ooh, round three. This guy's toast. Anton's gonna attack him. He's up first. Attack. Attack. Oh, he missed him. Crap. He is then going to use a cunning action to disengage. And he's gonna move right here. his turn. Cleric is going to move to block. Because that's what she would do. She's going to attack. Ah! Oh, she missed him. Oh, that sucks. Cast spell. Healing word. Who needed to be healed? If she heals herself, that he gets an attack of opportunity. I wonder. No, she's just gonna end her turn. Wait, she's gonna end her. Dwarf, Zork is going to move around behind this guy. Take an attack and get advantage on the attack. And a critical hit. Done. Way. Heck yeah. Took him out. Okay, we got some treasure here, it looks like. Ooh. Silver, a crossbow, a scimitar, leather armor. He's going to go ahead and pick it all. And I think there was another one laying around here. And I'm going to choose her. Let's look at that. More gold. Great sword. Ooh. Great sword. Chain mail. Okay. Refined oil. Healing remedy. A ration pouch. Hell yeah. 
That was really good. And I think there was one more. One more loot here. Let's get turned around. Yep. Anton's going to go for that one. Another scimitar, leather armor, silver, looted. I think that was all the bandit's treasure. Wait, nope, one more. I sent her over here. Same thing. Bunch of stuff. I think that was it. All the treasure. Okay, we still have to reach the outpost. Um, Alright. I don't know if they can let us continue our rest. Oh. We're going to take a short rest. Arcane Recovery. Can we use that. Okay, we're cool. I think everybody's up in hit points, I believe. Let's check. Yep. Nope. She's down a little bit. She has to get some healing. She's only down... Oh, well, she's down... Five hit points, so I don't know if she would heal herself or use a potion. So let's do a take a potion. Drink potion. Okay, she gained all of her hit points back. Sweet. Alright. So I guess we're ready to continue on to Kirloom. How do we get there? Uh, I don't know. Turn it on. That's not. Leave the town and travel. Okay, well now what do I do? Oh. We have to finish the long rest. Oh, okay. Resume camping. Got it. All right. We're traveling. Now I understand how to do it. Okay. We, they're playing dice, discussing things, performing armor maintenance, starts a game of dice, party sets camp. Starts a game of cards. Party starts to rest. <laughs> Not finding useful ingredients. Kills a boar. The party gains food, food ration. Plays a tune on the flute. Were you here during... Uh, Angel Beatsland, were you here during the battle? With the bandits? That was the last thing that happened, was the battle with bandits. Yeah, had a big battle with the bandits. Found a whole bunch of stuff on them after we killed them. That was ha happened during when we were traveling. They hit us while we were uh, sleeping. Yeah, you missed the action. <laughs> you missed all the action. You can go back and watch the video when we're done, though. Okay. You can always interrupt your travel manually, press the interrupt button, you can click on the carriage portion to open their inventory, and it's possible to start a new crafting activity, change equipment, or check anything you like. Okay, got it. Lisa does some weapons maintenance, Kiana prays, Nork performs mental exercises, party starts to rest. Wow, it took like three days. And we're there. Only one bandit encounter. Okay, we're getting down to the wire here on my time frame.
Okay, we are down to... Here we go. So that's Carolyn. And we're made it to Carolyn. We're almost there. It's just up the hill. It's a little too quiet, don't you think? We're in the marches, so quiet can't be trusted. True. Let's keep our eyes open. All right. Let's see what happens. I have a feeling something's going to happen. Don't you? <laughs> Okay, we have to uh, search the uh, should be able to get through one more encounter tonight here on the stream, and then we'll call the night. See what happens here. Oop, something burning there. around yet. Let's take a look here. Just to be safe. I don't see anything. This is obviously the way to the fortress. Obviously the way. Alright, here we go. I have a feeling something's gonna happen. Oh crap. It scared the crap out of me. Okay. Alright, round one. Goblins. Really? Holy crap. I think he missed him. Alright, so we got ourselves goblins here. We got, looks like, one here, one here, one here. That's all I see right now. Wait. They can move all over the place. Okay. Well, Anton is going to, he has, that guy has cover. Uh, what is Anton moves here? Ooh, he can hit that guy. That guy there, if he moves here. So Anton is going to move right there. And then he's gonna pick his bow. And he is going to attack that closest goblin. That goblin has cover. This one does not. I'm attacking him. Nice. I don't think I hit him though. Oh, I missed him. Crap. Um, okay, I'm going to take a cunning action and disengage. Dash to right behind this cover. There we go. And end my turn. Goblins move. Oh, these goblins. Holy that was crap. Hit. Critical hit. Oh my god. She's down in hit points big time. Okay. This is not good. Um, wow. Okay. She's going to have to... Wow, okay. How do I... She needs to take a healing potion or something. She cast a spell. Cure wounds. Cast it on herself. Now she's gonna move. Uh, wow. Can't get up to those guys very quick here. Um, she's gonna have to. She, well, she has a ranged weapon also. She's gonna go ahead and use it. 
She's gonna try to hit one of these dudes. That's a long shot. I don't think she can even make that shot. This guy's got cover. Mm, nasty. She's gonna try to hit this guy. Oh wait, no. All she can do is move. She can't attack. She's gonna move here. Okay. Goblin? Oh, there's another one up there. Little bastard. He's up on the rock. Okay, who's up? Dwarf is up. He's got a ranged weapon too. So he's going to move up to here. And he's going to shoot that little dude right there. Nice. Took him out on the rock. Yep, it was an ambush. And he's looking good. He just killed one of them. Okay, magic user. She can stay right there. Where can she get cover? She's going to move up to here. So she has cover. She's going to cast a spell. And you know what spell I'm going to cast, right? Not burning hands, because that's only uh, in front of me. I'm not worried about mage armor right now. She's going to cast magic missile. She's going to take out some goblins. She's going to go... Ooh. There. 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 And is there one more? There's actually two more. Where are the other ones at? I only see those two, those three. Where's the other one? It's saying that there's two others, but... Huh. Alright. I just don't know where they're at. Well, let's just hit this guy twice. Nice! <laughs> They're all damaged. Oh, there's one more. No, wait, never mind. Oh, there's one up on the rock. It's coming down. It's getting aggressive. Uh, ooh, this treasure up on that rock. Oh my god. Hit her again. That's Tim. Anton. one up on the rock up there. Oh, man. I don't know if I should have him move up. We should move up on him or just keep engaging him like that. I'm going to try to take the one up on the rock. Attack. That one. Oh, horrible. Horrible attack. Yeah, I got him up there in the shadows. Good, they missed the... Okay, the cleric is... She's only down three points, so that's not bad. She's going to have to rush one of these dudes. She's going to have to get up there. But they're they're staying out of way on purpose. She'd be super exposed right there. Um, I don't know. It's almost like we should just keep running... Uh, Of the ranged attacks, but that's what they're doing. She's going to risk it. She's going up. And she's going to fire at this guy. 
Nice. You should have yielded. Took him out. Should have saved some of my movement, but that's fine. Yeah, if she casts a spell, where she's gonna cast Shield of Faith, and she's gonna cast it on herself. It's a little bit more. Okay, dwarf. He is right here. He is going to go for it because that's a dwarf. He is going to use his ranged attack because that guy's the most exposed and he's going to shoot at him. Got him. Well, Killed him. Yes. Doesn't have to do second wind. He's going to use in turn. Magic user staying behind cover. Casting another spell. She can cast Magic Missile again. Which is probably the smart play. Now, where's the other ones at? There's one up here on the rock. She's going to pick him. Oh, wait. Oh. She does not have line of sight to him. That's too bad. Okay, that guy. That guy. And where's the other one at? That is the third one up there, so she can't see him. Uh, this guy. And she's got one more missile. That guy. Okay. These guys are done. Victory is mine! Hell yes. She gets bold. And no, she's gonna stay right there. This goblin is like going crazy. Anton's up. Anton's going to move to here. Whoa. not close enough to make a hand-to-hand uh, -hand attack, looks like. I'm gonna shoot him. Too slow. <laughs> close in shot. Done. The thief takes him out. He's talking about a short rest. Okay. Get everybody together here. Okay, right, why? No. Okay, we got some treasure to pick up. So up here, treasure all over the place. Come on, Anton, you climb up there. Oh, where are you going? He's gonna run around there and get that treasure. Oops. What the heck? There we go. Ooh. Thank you. Send him around to get all the treasure. Okay, we have some more treasure right there. Eight. And I don't see any more treasure around. 
I miss any treasure? Oh, wait. Here. Yep. Okay, I don't see any more now. Any other treasure we missed? I think that's it. into the uh, place. Yep, we did it. Ooh, this looks nasty. Looks like the garrison got taken out. This does not look good. There's a chest right there, too. Let's go check that out. around. Anything. Looks like we're back to going into the complex here. Find the garrison maybe. I have a bad feeling about this. Inner fort. Click to open the map. Inside the fort. Uh oh. I have a bad feeling about this. There's no one here. Not even corpses. Look! That tower! That's insane! That's crazy. Amazing! Classic Timarian architecture. I read about that, you know. Oh, that's It just where ended the... up here after the cataclysm. Incredible. Anyway, we That's have where a mission. That knowledge came in Let's that check the her. fortifications. She knew what that was. Alright. I am thinking that we are going to stop there for tonight. Pick it up next time before we get too deep into searching this uh fortress and we're going to take it up there on the next session so i think we're going to call it there and hey thanks angel beatsland for hanging in there with me tonight appreciate that and anybody else that might be watching i don't know if jaybird's still watching or not jaybird 88 Thanks for the sub. I really appreciate it. Yep, thanks for hanging in there. And I'll let you know about the um, the board games and stuff like that when we get going on it. That'll be fun. We're gonna, I just got to get a date and a time, get my schedule squared away to where we can fit it in on one of the slots. But, um, yeah, sounds great. Um, let me go over here real quick and uh, save my game. 
call it uh, error file name. Okay, and it's going to be uh, so lost uh, episode one. <laughs> Save. Okay, got that saved. But yeah, we'll uh, take it up next time and uh, we'll keep you posted on the other stuff. And, uh, and I think we're streaming. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow's uh, Thursday? Yeah, I don't think we had anything tomorrow. Might be. Yeah, I don't know. No, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I have anything tomorrow. But, anyways, everybody, thanks for watching that might be watching. And um, we are going to call it a day. And uh, let's see what we got here. There we go. Get back out of here. And quick game. All right. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I think that's a, that's a really fun game. I mean, it's pretty easy to play, and it's got a cool story behind it, and it, it makes you want to, you know, what we're going to find out next about everything. So that was really cool. Yeah. So, all right. Well, uh, we're going to call it there tonight, and we will talk again later.